I am pleased to announce our esteemed guest speaker for this year, Mr. Fauzi Kiriako Saad, founder of FKS Capital Partners LLP and a strong advocate for education as the main venue for social renewal and national development. Mr. Kiriako Saad, welcome to the stage. Hi. Well, first, I want to congratulate you all. Great job. I was here 33 years ago, and I can imagine how you feel. I feel today the same way I felt at that time. I can imagine how you can feel. I want to congratulate you and congratulate your families for supporting you and encouraging you to get into this era, which I think is extremely important, and that's what I elaborate in my little speech. So as I said, I'm happy to be standing here today. I'm happy to be standing in front of you. You are educators, the guardians of our human capital, the guardian of our most valuable resource. I believe that the development of human capital and allowing that capital to be applied as productively as possible ought to be the primary goal of most countries. You, as a group of educators, are at the center of growing that human capital. By equipping our youth with broader skills, intellectual and emotional, you are at the heart of developing Lebanon as a prosperous, happy, and financially independent country. I would like today to talk about three issues that I believe are very closely connected to your mission and that I would like you to keep in mind for the years to come. First, nations need individual talent regardless of their natural resources wealth. Second, there's a virtuous circle between individual talents and their community. They feed on one another. And three, no nation, no nation can be built without the proper education system no nation can be built without the proper educators. No nation can be built without all of you. Let me start with the first point. As I said, regardless of their natural resources, wealth, nations need human talent. For a small country like Lebanon, human talent is at the heart of everything. Without any intrinsic natural resources, or to, any to speak of, our only capital is our human capital, and developing and growing that capital is essential to our survival. This is done through nurturing and expanding our talent pool. Regardless of people's innate abilities, everyone, everyone can learn and improve. Talent is not just intellectual talent. Talent can be technical, it can be artistic, it can be emotional. All those talents are needed together to build a prosperous and happy nation. And as you give talent, you also ought to give autonomy. It goes hand in hand with talent. We ought to encourage individual initiatives that believe in their ability to change and to affect their environment. I'm very comfortable when you are dealing at the level of a nation to allow individuals to pursue their own goals. We will have enough projects that ultimately enough will succeed to make our nation a success. The second point is the fact that we are individuals who together should form a cohesive whole. An important part in your job in the development of talent is the ability of learners to access a pool of experienced and successful individuals. It is therefore key for our educators to instill into their student the connection to their community and the concept of giving back. Young people must understand, and you must teach them, that the same way you have given to them, nurtured them, and allowed them to grow and become successful, they need in return at some point, to give back, to allow the nation they have helped build and grow by being successful, continue to
to be built and grown by helping the next generation be successful. The concept of commitment to the community outside one's home is crucial, and it is in your hands. The third point is about the fact that no nation can be built without the proper education system. Human capital is key to the future of our nation. And who is better placed to develop and nurture that human, that human capital than you, our educators? You are the ones guiding our youth forward. You are the ones on which the future of our nation depends. And I'm not talking lightly. The, nature of, the, the future of a nation depends on all of you. You are also the ones managing the schools in which our youth are educated. I want you and our school to be at the heart of society because it is through you, it is through education that will eliminate gender inequality, that will reduce poverty, make our environment healthier, increase life expectancy, and most importantly, create a more peaceful nation. It is through education that will develop human capital, and it is through human capital that will create prosperity, that will have a happy and advanced society. We are in a knowledge economy, and you, our future educators, are the guardians of it. Our schools are the guardians of it, and it is therefore your place only at the heart of our society. We will take you and our schools and put you at the heart of society so you can do what you ought to do, is shape that society. It is at the heart of that society that you'll have the privilege, but also the obligation, of building our future nation, of building our future nation regardless, and that's very important, regardless of the state of our present nation. Focus on the future. Don't let the present slow you down. If each one of you assumes that responsibility, I can and Tamam can rest in peace and be confident that the Lebanon of tomorrow, the Lebanon of tomorrow will be the Lebanon we only dream about today. Long live our educators, long live Lebanon.